Good afternoon. It's July 10th and it's 3.59 in the afternoon, 83 degrees here in Oahu. And I've had a very full, busy, fun day so far. I have a, a friend. We like to go shopping together once a month. So we went to IEA today and, and did that near the airport and then went near the airport and uh, came home and then I had a Zoom with one of my disciples and we're studying Wendy J. Clark's workbook, Speak It, 30 Days of Saturation and Healing. And we're getting ready to start day nine. And uh, it's just been phenomenal. The deep truths in God's word that we're learning in the Greek and Hebrew uh, about healing and it's amazing. It really helps a person to stand in faith. And Keith and I'll be starting a discipling class this after, or this fall, teaching out of Wendy's workbook. And so I hope lots of people join us. Uh, maybe we'll have one in person in our home or someplace else if someone else will host it. Or uh, and we'll probably do one uh, for one of our zooms. And we have Zooms on Mondays at 6 p.m. Hawaii time, 9 p.m. Pacific time. And we have them on Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Hawaii time and 7 p.m. Pacific time. So if you're ever interested in getting the notifications and getting the Zoom link and study notes, all you have to do is send Keith an email to his personal email address and put add me in the subject box and his email is his initial and last name, K-W-I-N-T-E-R-O-W-D at gmail.com, and that's one R. So just send him an email. You'll get some notification notifications of our Zoom Bible studies and the link to be able to join us, which would be really fun to have you come. So we're going to go ahead and do today's devotional out of Faith Food Devotions with Kenneth E. Hagen. And July 10th is Look Inside. And the scripture verse is 1 Corinthians 14, 15. What is it then? I will pray with the Spirit, and I will pray with the understanding also. I will sing with the Spirit, and I will sing with understanding also. Kenneth Hagin goes on to say, in every crisis of life, I've learned to look to my spirit inside of me. I've learned to pray in other tongues. And while I'm praying in other tongues, guidance comes from inside me because my spirit is active when I pray in tongues. My mind is not active then my spirit is active and it is through my spirit that God gives me guidance. Sometimes while I'm praying in tongues privately, I'll interpret what I've said. And through the inter interpretation, I'll get guidance. But this doesn't happen most of the time. Most of the time, while I'm just praying in tongues from somewhere way deep down inside, the knowledge of what God wants me to do will rise up in me. It's difficult to explain spiritual things in natural ways, but I can sense something rising up within me. It begins to take shape and form, and although I can't always put it into words, because my understanding has nothing to do with it, I know exactly on the inside of me what direction I'm to take. Hey, that is really good advice. So I have a confession to say today, and I'll say it once, and then I'll say it again, so you can say it out loud with me if you want to. I listen to my heart. I listen to my heart. I look to my spirit inside me. I look to my spirit inside me. I am spirit conscious. I am spirit conscious because the Holy Spirit indwells in my spirit 
because the Holy Spirit indwells my spirit, he gives direction to my spirit. He gives direction to my spirit. He guides me through my spirit. He guides me through my spirit. Do you know how huge that is? To have access to guidance from the creator of the universe, the God who knows everything. He knows everything about any situation we ever find ourselves in. He knows everything about it. And he has wisdom. And we have access to his counsel just by pressing in and listening to him, his leading, his guidance. I'll tell you, that is an amazing, beautiful gift from God to have someone like him to help us in our time of need. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lead us and guide us, I pray, Lord. May we be walking with you and in your full knowledge of everything and your full wisdom of everything. And you want to clue us in because you love us. And we thank you, Father. Amen.